you know how it is, the whole, like, alien theory, like, like some of us have a little bit more, uh, like, alien DNA. People were passing around those, those uh, that post about, like, b- uh, the blood type, the weird blood type and shit all on Facebook. Well, yeah. that's an MH one, right? The, like, R- the R- Neanderthal R- one. R-H negative. R-H negative, that's Neanderthal or no? No, that R H R H negative blood means that you you're a universal donor, uh, so it means that <laughs> any human can accept your blood, okay. but you need that very specific blood okay. if you if you actually need a blood transfusion. I think that's the blood that I have because every time I've gone to like Red Cross, they're like, "Yo, we need your blood because you're a universal donor." Yeah, and if you know, they keep saying if someone's in my position that. They can only accept my blood. So I can give anybody my blood, but I can only take people whose blood is the same as oh, mine. Oh, shit. Oh, word. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how it works. That's yeah. But, they, but yeah, I know an article, because I just read it yesterday, where they were, they were suggesting that those people, you know, might have been aliens or whatever. They're saying most of those people who have that blood are actually from, like, Northern Europe and, you know, had certain yeah. features or whatnot. Um, but yeah, blood types. Blood types is weird. I know, like, with Japanese people, they're very into blood types. Like when they start dating, they'll ask you like what your blood type is or oh, whatnot. So really? Because oh. like because you you know, blood types sure. blood types That's... can actually like clash. For example, like yeah. you know when you're having children and stuff, yeah. right? Or trying to have kids and stuff, oh. right? And and they also believe that blood types have to do with personalities and certain personality traits and right. personality types and whatnot. I can right? see that. So, you know what I mean? I can see that. Yeah. That's See, definitely that's how possible. complicated and crazy that like life is. It's like think about it. We have different blood types. Those are those are defense mechanisms. Like everything that makes you what you are is a defense mechanism to some sort of environment you have to survive. In. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like even your blood type. It's like that's because your body needs to defend itself in some sort of wherever you were. You know, were at that time where that became. You know. Like, you had to defend your body. Like, it's just, it's nuts if you think about it. Like, everything yeah. is defensive. Even, you know, cancer, tumor. There, it's a defense mechanism. Yeah, yeah. Your body starts, it just doesn't know how to shut up. Yeah. And that's when it becomes yeah. murder. Yeah. Yeah. It kills you. But, like, like a tumor in its, in its rawest form is actually a defense mechanism. It's a, it's a healing thing. But what happens is it doesn't know how to shut itself off. And it becomes cancer. Okay, that's... Yeah. But like yeah, the yeah, like the like the biology of the body and shit and yeah, certain things is insane. That's yeah. why like I truly believe you know in people like um, Doctor Sebi and the Gerber theories and stuff like that. That like you can cure majority of diseases and things just through food with nutrition. Yeah. Because the thing that people don't realize is the human body. Like you think that we need like twelve vitamins: vitamin A, vitamin B, one to twelve, C. D, D, whatever, you know what I mean? And it's like, people don't realize there's actually, a, what is it, 52 or 54 vitamins and minerals and nutrients that the human body uses mm-hmm. to use its full potential. Yeah. And that goes from everything, like things like zinc and magnesium and all these little things. But then there's a list of tons of shit that you've like never even seen in the nutritional value of your food. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's how people like Gerber and Dr. Sebi treated people. They treated them through nutrition. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're dealing with this. Well, a lot of times, that's a defense mechanism your body sets up from a deficiency of this vitamin or this nutrient, this mineral. So we'll treat you with that mineral, that vitamin, that nutrient. And then that's how you cure people naturally. Yeah, straight up. You know what I mean? But it's like when you look at biology and just how simple it is, you know what I mean? But it's like you, you believe modern medicine, you believe chemically created fucking versions of things that nature actually does. Like, yeah, why yeah. do you think there used to be apothecaries two year, 200 years ago? Now there's fucking, you know what I mean? And don't get me wrong, modern science has done great things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it can stop certain things like diseases, like measles and smallpox and stuff that would wipe out entire, like the cold, the common cold wiped out fucking population. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, it has its benefits, but it's on a very low level. When it comes to these complicated things that are caused by this world we're living in now, with all these different, because we weren't living like this 200 years ago. That's why all these diseases are running rampant. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Because our bodies aren't getting the proper nutrients that they need, the proper vitamins. We're living in a house, watching the TV all day. We're, you know what I mean? We're not getting, yeah. we're not getting shit. We're eating McDonald's. We're eating, we're eating shit that has no nutritional value, let alone even all just a minor process, amount. All these processed foods. Even your vegetables are processed because yeah. the GMO seeds. Like every, like we live in a fucking conveyor belt society. And that's what it is. And the, the thing is, at the end of the day, if you can just diagnose and figure out what you need, like what 
what your balance is missing as a human, a yeah. lot of times that'll fix the issue. Yeah. There's a lot of diseases. This is why I'm, this is why I'm always looking up this stuff that they call alternative medicine. You know, just just for like simple stuff. Like, no, I don't want to take I don't want to take this this pill or take that. You know, like it's it's just sometimes the sometimes modern science is not always. Yeah. I mean, a lot of modern medicine and big pharma isn't even quote unquote modern science. You do really, like, you know, when when a company wants to get a, a medicine produced, right? Yeah. They have to go to the FDA and they have to provide a science that basically shows that, I think it's out of like 50 people, like 90% of people are, are affected in the proper way from this. What that doesn't take into accountability is the placebo effect. Which is one of the biggest things in this world. It's like when people take aspirin, a lot of times it's not actually doing anything to them. It's actually making them have more frequent headaches down the road because of the aspirin or whatever it is yeah. in it that fucking, you know, releases. And it actually causes your brain to whatever, giving you headaches more frequently further down the line. But people have these things, which is a placebo effect, you know what I mean? And if, you're, if you believe it's going to help, then it will help. You know, yeah. same way people can, what is it, my shower syndrome or whatever it's called, and how you can convince yourself you're sick. The yeah. mind is a powerful tool. Yeah. So if you believe something's going to work, you pop a little pill, all oh, this works, then it yeah. works. 